I don't know if this is part two or part three of it all, but I'm actually cycling the coolant system now. I got a few more bubbles in there. Let's see, I'm just kind of seeing here. Yeah. See them coming up through there. All right. So once again, we up here. Gonna hit this. See the temperature. 129.5 and we'll hit it again. Hit in a few locations. 155. My first reading was just a fluke. I like to do it a couple of times. 161. Alright, 161. Alright. We go down here. That's how you know that. Got proper heat exchange. 120. I'm gonna hit it again. Keeping my fingers free of that fan. 120. I really wouldn't suggest doing this unless you feel really, really comfortable. Hit the button twice in a couple different locations. We're still at 120.5 degrees. And seeing that this is not the proper, proper bleed funnel, you know, I mean, we do. We can't use it as a bleed funnel. It's not the proper one, so I just got this rag around it. And I'm just keeping an eye on my sequence and also to make sure that this thing doesn't melt. People use people use pop bottles, Fiji bottles, and stuff like that. But you gotta be careful because sometimes the things are melt on you. Alright. I can actually feel the coolant flowing through a little bit. Actually, no, I don't. I actually feel the thermostat kicking as I'm squeezing on the hose. But yeah, that's pretty much it though. So as I just watched, I'm just waiting on the thermostat to open up. It was at around 100 and what, 50, 160 degrees? Usually you got a 180 degree thermostat, so um, let's see what's going on. That's the really, you know, it was general, general is 180, 190 degrees on the thermostat for it to open or whatever. Um, I have seen a lot, you know, cooler thermostats, but um, I don't know. That's about all I got to say on that. As you gotta remember that this hose is like insulating some of the coolant. Let's see. We got 150 degrees on the coolant for actual coolant. 